This is what it's all about. Jesus. Thousands of voices haven't seen the one. Still at twelve, who were crazy enough to live everything. Yeah. Misfits and doubters, outcasts and cowards, kinda like you and me. Have one thing in common, the one we follow. He's still the reigning king. Sing it with me now, Jesus, people.
And all you got to do is receive it by faith. He said when he died on the cross, he said, it is finished. You know what was finished? You weren't even born yet, but all your salvation, your past sins, your present sins, your future sins taken care of. It was finished. The Bible says in Ephesians, you are saved by grace through faith. So how do we get connected to this grace? It's by faith. And this is what the enemy goes after in people in this world. Just because he paid the grace, is everybody saved? No, because not everybody has grace. Excuse me, has faith. So I want to tell you this. The enemy's after one thing, that's your faith. Because if he can convince you that God's not real, that God's an angry being in the clouds, he can keep you from having faith. And that faith will keep you from grace. What is grace? Grace is the ability to do what you couldn't do. You couldn't pay for your sin. You can't get healed on your own. But faith connects you to that grace. So what, what's my point? It is a fight of faith. Paul said, fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Your faith is under attack. But you don't have to just sit there. You can put up the shield of faith and say, I trust God. I trust in Jesus. Yeah. What's my point? Faith connects you to God. So connect to that grace tonight. We stand in faith. We live by faith. When things ain't going right, we live by faith. We believe by faith. We receive by faith. We got any faith people in this room tonight? Yeah.